Hey guys, welcome to yet another lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to be doing question three on um, fixed assets, balance sheet and audit report. This will focus primarily on 3.1 and then 3.2 and the rest of the question will follow in other videos and without wasting any more time, let us jump straight into it. So this question here, it's um, on fixed assets, balance sheet and audit report. This is a question on companies, obviously, and uh, we know that companies count for about 60% of your final paper. So it's very important to make sure that you understand um, pretty much all the elements that have to do with companies because where most of your marks come from. If you lose marks on companies, you are losing very big marks. So it's a, it's a section that you need to study very, very hard and make sure you get the best possible marks that you can. And it's not a difficult um section guys it's not difficult at all if you put in the practice if you put in the work you will eventually get the results out and if you're struggling by yourself maybe get it to um we do provide tutors and Cape Town tutors so consider that option as well cool the following information relates to audit ltd the financial year ended on the 28th of february 2017 and then the question says, uh, you must refer to information B and then they, they calculate using A to E. So you can see that A, B, um, and then there's a C, then there's the D here, and then there's the E here. Okay, um, and then, yeah, um, so I got my answer book right here, as I said. So I got my answer book, let me just scroll a little bit down to make sure that I make sure that I get everything in. All right, so let us get to, let's start with A and calculate um, the carrying value of from um, land and buildings on 1 March 2016. So, in um, this um, information B here on fixed assets, um, so you, if you look at land buildings, let's just look at that column alone. So there's one event that occurred during the year. Um, it's only a purchase of additional um, land and buildings for 325,000 and there's nothing else that has happened and we know that we have no depreciation on land and buildings. So what you need to do then in that case would um, a, a carrying amount at the beginning of the year versus a amount at the end of the year would just be the difference between that and the additions and so if we would go to our answer book we would then um, just take the two five million which is the carrying amount at the end, and then we'll subtract 325,000, which is basically the additional land and buildings that we acquired. And then that should give you 2,225,000. So that's easy there, two marks, very simple, straightforward to the point. And let us move on to the second one, question B. In question B, you're calculating the depreciation for the year for vehicles. All right, so let's go and um, try and answer this one. Calculate the total depreciation for the year for vehicles. Let us look at vehicles first, actually. So vehicles, they have a cost at the beginning of the year of 350,000, and then there's a, an accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year for 315,000. And then there's a carrying amount of 35,000. And then the transactions that occurred during the year, there was only a purchase of vehicles. So there was no disposal of vehicles. So the only thing that you need to calculate is the depreciation on vehicles that were there at the beginning of the year, as well as the depreciation on vehicles that were acquired during the year. So let us uh, go into it. Let's just see the method that you're gonna to use to calculate this depreciation. So here they said um, the depreciation on vehicles is calculated at 20% in cost. Well, let's start with the old vehicles that were there at the beginning of the year. And you heard that it's the cost. So we're looking at the cost, we're not looking at depreciation. So the cost of vehicles is 350,000. The ones that were there from, the, from beginning to end. So I'm gonna characterize this. I'm gonna say this one is old. Say it's old vehicles, and then I'm going to say 
350,000, sorry. And then I'm gonna multiply that by 10%. And it was there from beginning to end. So I don't need to apportion by months. And then we know that, um, sorry, let me just check again. So it's 20%, it's not 10%. So it's 20% on cost. And that gives us a value of um, 70,000. If you put that in a calculator, so that gives us 70,000. But the problem now is that at the beginning of the year, we only have an, a carrying amount of 35,000. So if we add to this accumulated depreciation, 70,000, then accumulated depreciation becomes more than the cost. Obviously, it's never the case. So in this, um, so in this case, we have to limit the accumulated depreciation to 34,999 so that the value of the vehicle can be won, so that it can be made positive. So I'm going to say limited, limited to 34,999. So we're not going to take the 70,000, we're going to take the 34,999 because if you have, um, if you have a negative amount, if you have a negative amount for the value of your vehicles, you're trying to tell me that you would pay someone so that they can own the vehicle, which is not the case. You want at least, at least they take it for free than you having to pay them to take your vehicle, you know, that's not practical. And then let us move into new vehicles. Because there's a different sets of vehicles because it's important to make sure that you categorize because some vehicles were there for the whole year, some vehicles were there from beginning to a certain point in the year, and then some vehicles were there from a certain point in the year up until the end of the year. And in this case, there are these new vehicles that were bought during the year that we have kept until the end of the year. So here it says the company um, has purchased two vehicles on 28 February 2017. Uh, one of these vehicles was purchased on 1 September 2016. So the ones that were purchased on 1 September 2016, it has to be this one because um, that is the addition that we got. So one of those vehicles was purchased on 1 September 2016. So since it was acquired on 1 September 2016 and um, the financial year ends on the 28th of February 2017, then let us calculate the number of months that this vehicle was with the business. So that would be September, October, November, December, January, February. So it was with the business for six months. The cost is 422,550 and then the rate is 20%. So we want to say 422,550 multiplied by 20% and then multiplied by 6 over 12. And that should give you 42,000. 42,000. That should give you for the 2,255. That is the depreciation on old vehicles, the depreciation on new vehicles. And then the question there you to calculate the total depreciation. So here we have to say then the total, the total depreciation. The total depreciation would then be um, 42,255 plus the depreciation for the old vehicles, which is 34,999. And then that would give us the amount of 77,254. So that would be the total depreciation on vehicles that will be represented by um, E on here. So um, moving on to the next question, which is E. So E says you must calculate the carrying value um, as at 28 February 2017. 
So this one is a little bit much easier because you already have B. So the only thing that you need to do is to say 35,000 plus 42, 550. Um, and then you're going to say minus the 77,254, which is the depreciation. So as we do here, so it's a, we'll just take the 35,000. And then plus four, sorry, 422, 550. Then we'll say minus. 77,254, and that will give us 380, 296. So we're done with that as well. And then just uh, moving on into D. So for D, um, you're supposed to calculate the disposal. So the disposal, so the disposals, when you're doing the fixed asset note, it's disposals at carrying amount. So that's what would normally be said. Disposals. Uh, what did I just do there? So it would be disposals at carrying value. So at carrying value. So we'd have to calculate the carrying value of the equipment that was disposed. So in order to calculate the carrying value, we have to know when that equipment was bought and also know the update to calculate the creation of that equipment. So here in this case, uh, we are given an extract from the fixed asset register for equipment sold. It's a fridge, model X3. It was purchased on 1 March 2014, and then it was sold on 31st December 2016, which is in the current financial year. And they actually also gave you the amount it was sold for. But in this particular um, case, we're not really concerned about what it was sold for, but we're concerned about what is its amount. So what we need to do there, um, and we're also told how is equipment depreciated. Oh yes, so the depreciation rate is 10% per annum on the diminution balance method. So for the first year, the so for the first year, the for the first year, it was depreciated at the cost obviously for 12,000 and then its value was for 108,000. And then in the second year, so what I'm gonna do. Let me say, the second year, so the second year, I'm going to start with that. So the carrying amount in the second year was 108,000. And then we need to multiply that by 10%. And it was there for the whole of the second year, which ended in the, the you know, in, 20, in 2016. And so that should give us a value of 10,800, which was the depreciation for that year. And then let's say now the third year, this is the third year now that the, we've had the equipment. And then what you're going to do first is to say 108,000, because now we are doing the diminishing balance method. So what we need to do is to subtract, because that 108,000 is basically one twenty thousand minus twelve. If you avoid the same here, so you can see one twenty thousand minus twelve thousand is equal to one or eight thousand. And then you'd come and put below this one twenty thousand, you would put one or eight thousand, and then you'd put ten thousand eight hundred here, and then you'd calculate the book value again. So in this case, what you need to do then is to say one or eight thousand, and then you need to subtract that depreciation. 10,800 and then we multiply by 10%. Multiply by 10%. Uh, multiply by 10%. And in the third year, the, 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 the fridge, sorry, the fridge was not there the whole year. It was there until the 31st of December um, 2016. So we will not include the, the whole period. So what you need to do is to calculate what it, will, it should be depreciated for, for the car. So it was there from 1st of 16, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So we're going to depreciate for 10 months in the current year. So we're going to depreciate for 10 months. So it's depreciating. 
It's multiplied by 10 over 12. multiplied by 10 over 12, and that should give you uh, a total of 8,100. I need to do then is to say cost minus accumulated depreciation. Obviously, that would give you the carrying amount. And then we know that the cost is 120,000. And then we need to subtract the first 12,000 first. So uh, cost is 120,000. And then you need to subtract firstly the 12,000. Then you need to subtract the 10,800. And then after that, you need to subtract the 8,100. And uh, the value of the vehicle will then will be eighty nine thousand one hundred. That is the that would be the value of the vehicle eighty eighty nine thousand one hundred. And they told you here that it was actually sold for eighty five So it was sold below its value, and that is the loss on loss on sale of assets. But that is a topic for the income statement. That was what we're, that is not what we are concerned about here. So yeah, so we've got now the value for the D because we're calculating D, and then the last value that we need to calculate then is to calculate E. E is a total, so in order to calculate the total, we'll just say 2.5 million plus C, which we already have, plus 50,994, will then give us E. We can see here, so, uh, so we're just gonna say here, 2.55 million. I'm going to say plus, obviously, we need to add C here. So, C was 38296. And then we need to add um, that 50,994. And then that will give us an answer of 2981. 290. So that will be our answer for E, and that brings us to the end of our lesson uh, for the purpose of this session. And then in the next session, we're going to be doing the balance sheet. Um, so stay tuned, attempt to do it yourself first, and see you in the next lesson. Cheers.